Hey guys, here's another video for you. This one will be a little bit different since it's not a review exactly. Um, I'm just wanting to clarify the difference between FPS or feet per second and joules. Now, uh, forgive the uh, makeshift tripod type deal because um, I'm on my table and so I'm using a cell phone pinch between some rocks. Rockford Fosgate subwoofer boxes. So anyway, hopefully this makes sense. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask at the end. Um, uh, the reason I got kind of interested in this is because I'm a mechanical engineer. Uh, I got one more year of school left, but I do this stuff a lot. That being said, I do make mistakes, so if you do know this stuff and I make a mistake, feel free to point it out, and I will try to correct it. Okay, so first off is... Um, here's the equation. Let's see. You should be able to see that, all right. If not, switch to HD 1080p and blow it up pretty big. Um, this, the difference between feet per second and joules is joules is energy, or joules are energy. It's a unit, and feet per second is a velocity, um, feet over seconds. Now, this is the equation that that we're going to use today, and uh, so basically, um, the the reason I'm going to switch over. Um, from feet per second to meters per second is because the units don't quite match up uh, using uh, 0.2 gram BBs. Um, I need to be on the same units of measurement and for some reason they they mix uh, feet and seconds, well just the feet, and they mix it with grams. So I need to get everything back into standard so k kilograms and meters per second is what I need. So. So that's the conversion right there. If that doesn't mean anything to you, just keep watching. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and go for 250 feet per second. Now, that's pretty slow. Most people know that that's a slow gun, slow firing, not one that you would necessarily see, but this will kind of be a baseline uh, for something I'm going to show you later. Now, for 250 feet per second, um, we'll do these with 0.20 gram BBs. Now, uh, 0.20 gram is also equal to 0 0.0002 kilograms, and we need to work in kilograms here. So now that that's done, I can convert my feet per second to meters per second. So I have 250 feet per second. I'm going to Convert here. Give me a second. Okay, so for those of you that aren't familiar with the metric system, meters, and all that, uh, 76.2 definitely doesn't seem quite as fast as 250, just the difference in numbers, different uh, units of measurement. So you can think of this as like yards per second, but it, it's still a bit different. But, so this is the number that we're going to be basing things off of. So for energy, so here's this equation here, I'm going to move it down here. And instead of kinetic energy, I'm just going to call it E for energy. Um, so you can think of energy like um, joules, uh, is like if I were a boxer and I'm going to punch you, um, the force that I hit you with, I guess, could be considered uh, kinetic energy, like joules, uh, when you're shooting is how hard the BB impacts, how much work or force, I guess not force, how much work is imparted on the object that it hits. In other words, the more joules, the more it hurts. Um, so let's go for energy here. So one half, and then we have... So this is our equation here, and this is... Uh, this here is meters per second. So then that equals 0.58 joules. So now if you're, you ever watch any of these videos, uh, some of the guys that do reviews, they'll mention, oh, this pistol shoots at 0.98 joules. Now, that's great, um, but most people don't know what it is, so hopefully this will help you. You can see at 250 feet per second, 
with 0.2 gram BBs it produces 0.58 so that's pretty small I'm going to go ahead and do for 400 feet per second here um, with 0.20 gram BBs um, the conversion is uh, 121.92 meters per second um, now this is the standard for most fields uh, for field um, speed I guess now the reason I like joules will hopefully make it apparent uh, in a second here so I got my meters per second and the energy that comes out of this is one point four eight six joules now you can see there's quite a bit of a difference and we only jumped hundred and fifty feet per second now I'm going to do one more five hundred feet per second this is the range for a sniper rifle to chrono uh, with 0.2 gram BBs convert that um, the conversion is hundred and fifty two point four meters per second and then the energy here the number of joules that are going to be imparted on the target will be let's see 152.4 squared and that equals 2.32 joules now if you notice back up here velocity is squared so if you take the feet per second 250 feet per second is uh, half or multiply it by two and it gives you 500 feet per second so most people would think you know if I have if I double the speed it's just gonna hurt twice as much uh, but if you look at this equation here this proves that so if we take the energy from the first uh, 5.8 joules from the 250 if we double it we only get half of 2.3 Two, we have to actually multiply by four in order for um, us to get this amount of joules. So you can see that doubling the feet per second actually quadruples the amount of energy that's imparted. So this is why I kind of think that rating your guns based on feet per second is kind of useless, is because once you the faster you get, uh, your energy is is quadrupled. Uh, at least in this instance, uh, uh, assuming that your velocity is doubled. So when you go out and somebody says, you know, it's only 100 feet per second more, you can see here that that's almost an entire joule of energy more, and you know how much a 400 feet per second gun hurts. Uh, a 500 feet per second gun's not going to be any friendlier, uh, and in fact, it's going to be uh, almost a whole joule, joule worse. Um, so anyway that's that part and then uh, the other thing like when I go chrono sometimes I don't have 0.2 gram BBs on me and the guy goes well you need 0.2 gram I say well I have 0.25s in here can you just run the math and the guys sometimes they'll look at me funny um, the reason being is because I wish we just rated in joules instead of feet per second then everybody would know what the joule limit was and then the simple equation uh, in order to figure out if you're under the right threshold you can still use the chrono but if you use uh, your velocity take the square root this is this is derived off of this equation but I'm just solving for V here um, 2 times the energy over the mass now say I have a 0.25 gram BB uh, and I want a chrono but they they, I don't have any point twos to go see if I'm under the 400 feet per second mark. So to see if I can chrono at 400 feet per second uh, with point two O's, I need to know what feet per second here I can go at with point two fives. So uh, here's a quick equation for that. You just plug that in here, and so you take the square root two times. We know the amount of joules that are allowed at this rating with this weight so we can just go 1.486 right here and divide by the mass so the new mass is 0.0025 kilograms and then that 
if you do the conversion actually remember you got to go back to feet per second this is in meters per second uh, so one foot per second over point three oh four eight meters per second so the meters per second cross out with feet per second and you get three hundred fifty seven point seven feet per second so this is the magic number now that if you chronograph lower than 357.7 feet per second and you know you have 0.25 gram BBs in uh, your gun you don't have to switch BBs anymore you can just run this equation chronograph and this is your new threshold uh, for that way to BB now people have already run this and they've come out with spreadsheets for you uh, so that's really easy but I know most of the guys aren't gonna carry them around when they chrono at these fields um, I actually have a couple ideas, um, a few programs that I can write. Um, I'm not going to give away hints because it's something that might be worth patenting. Um, but I can write, I have a program outlined that will take a force reading instead of feet per second and it will tell you if you've met the threshold or not. So basically it'll have all the data input to it and it'll just tell you yes or no if you pass. Um, and you can use any way to BB when you chrono. Uh, so that creates less hassle. So maybe I'll be able to come up with that uh, soon and start pitching it to companies. I don't know if that'll happen. It's just an idea. So, but I hope this explains the difference between feet per second and uh, joules. So now you kind of know what you're you're looking for uh, if somebody mentions this gun shoots at you know 1.2 joules or whatever. So. Anyway, if you have any questions, this was a really long video. If you watched the entire thing, thank you very much. Um, it's just me talking and me doing what I enjoy. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. Comment below. Thanks for watching.